to just eat your first bowl. Well, it's okay, but you just gotta stick with it and try your best. All right. Ten point analysis there. So we got Travis here. Travis, you tried it for the first time and you said it was pretty good. What are you expecting with your second bowl? I'm thinking it's dessert. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Did you add any extra butter or pepper or salt this time, or are you just eating it straight? I'm just eating it straight. Wow. Round of applause for you. Kevin, yeah. you've been eating this for 60 years, and uh, this is a second bowl in a short amount of time. Uh, can you handle the pressure? Well, it's not really as big as my first helping that I normally take, so we'll see. Really? Why? <laughs> well, I remember me and my dad used to sit down and all our, our plate was just little white potatoes and then a little white lutefisk. And that's all we eat for Christmas. Oh, really? It makes you appreciate the little things in life, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. So. Vicky's here from Cresco. A little smack talk is going on between her and uh, Aaron right now. Aaron, Aaron won last year, and you're determined to beat him this year. I, I would love it, but I kind of, I don't know for sure. I got to think positive, though, right? Exactly. I like the positive attitude. You got a, you got a good competitor here. Uh, how are you going to beat a guy that uh, quick? I don't know. It's going to be one swallow, I think. All right. We'll see what happens. Brian's here. He won this thing 20 years ago. 20 years ago, I uh, couldn't even vote. Uh, 20 years ago, how were you able to win it at that time? How are you going to win it again? Same thing. Dish the spoon. Go for it. All right. You heard the uh, plan of attack here. And then here's Aaron. He's got the chef hat on. He's got the spoon in the hand. And he's got the shorts. Let's uh, let, let's let's show, let's show this side to the crowd. I normally don't encourage this type of behavior, but de uh, uh, defending champion, three-time champion. You're facing another champion, and you're facing a lot of great other competitors. How do you, facing great competitors make you a better Ludafisk eater? I don't know. I, I challenged the previous champions in the previous years, all three years in a row, so I don't know how this makes it any different. All right. Confidence. Or is it cockiness? I don't know. Or is it insanity? We got Dawn here. All right. Let's count down from five like we usually do. We have our five finalists for the honor of the 2013 Ludafisk Eating Championship of the World. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah, here we go. Wow, we got we got a tough decision here. We may hit. Does anybody have that on film? We may have to go to instant replay. Jared, did you get that? I got it. All right. Let's go to the judge first. Don, your thoughts? It was that guy. Yeah. That guy. Make him do it again. All right. You know what? The 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 last three there. Okay, we got Vicky, we got Brian, we got Aaron. And you know what? It's too close to call. It's too close to call, uh, Jared. Let's look at the uh, video. Would you say too close to call? I'd say too close to call right now. All right, you don't argue with the media yet. So another ball. All right. We got Dawn here, our professional judge, and we'll get her opinion after this round, and then we're going to do it by vote of applause. This next round. Well. That puts pressure on you, doesn't it, Brent? No problem. All right. We got a defending champion. We got Vic Vicky. You know, uh, you were willing to step up her game, and you did it. And you got it. You're going to have.